I haven't posted a video in a while, but here's my next project. 1963 Corvette. Okay, gave me this manual, and this was in the glove box. Some keys. I guess somebody put in an Alpine alarm system or something. I had to take the rear bumpers and this filler piece off just to get it off the flatbed with the come along chain. It's, uh, it sat for at least four years in a garage, had the top up the whole time. I just put that down the other day and took some seat covers off to see how they are. I think all this stuff will clean up, hopefully. Four speed. Somebody put an aftermarket stereo in it. Let's see. I gotta find the face for it. CD player. And some speakers. And, uh, let's see. There's the rest of the speakers back there. I don't really know what it is. Um, looks like a couple of tens, two tens or something. Here's the white top. It was in pretty rough shape, but oh, can't move it. <laughs> Staying down. Gotta fix all this alignment. where the bumper and filler panel is I took off. It's got a little bit of gas in it. I'll siphon it out before I before I run it through. There was a hole in the ceiling of the garage right around this area. So a bunch of wood and dirt came down that way. Paint is pretty rough, but at least it's not gonna rust. Fiberglass. This, uh, this front wheel's locked up and the back right, or maybe it's this one and the front right. It was made a real pain getting it on and off the trailer. Good thing I got these. These are Amazon for like 500 bucks or something. Interior looks all right. Got a couple big rips in the seat. Let's see. see how cleaner this is than this. The lights were flipped up, so I flipped them down just to see what it looked like. Got a bunch of orange peel or something. I think it used to be a uh, saddle tan. It has a white top right now, but it probably had a tan top in the beginning. Maybe even tan seats, I don't know. It also came with a black hard top. It is filthy, so I gotta clean it before I even put it on there. Let's see if I can get under here. I haven't really looked under here much, but I think it's just got a two barrel. This thing is bone dry. 
don't know what's going on with that steering column. I think my uncle took that off just to show me something. I'm gonna bore scope it. I didn't even try to turn it over. No, should be a fun project though. Here's the rear bumpers. Let's see. Okay, maybe I'll try it right here. I just wiped it with my finger. Right there, and it looked pretty good. Not too bad. Put some wax or something. What do they call this stuff? Put some of that on there. Probably be pretty good. is filthy. It's probably as close to a barn find as I'll ever find. Paid a little more than I wanted to, but whatever. It'll be fun. These are just hubcaps, but I think they're original. It's got the exhaust coming out the back. Tail lights are pretty cool. I haven't even looked under here, really. I don't know what else. I think I want to hook the jumper up to it and see what these speakers sound like. She got some vacuuming to do. Dice. Um, the uh, visors in the back under here. Maybe I could fix that up. Oh, here it is. Just a couple extra little parts. I think there's even a jack under there. Let's see. Should be pretty fun. I always love these windows. Oh yeah. No AC, so there's your AC. No power steering. No brake booster. I guess that's aftermarket. this whole thing. <laughs> 